you have a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. IDVA wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, just, let's fucking go. Come on. Come on. Right, we're going up to... Yeah. To this. What are you... Melanie, what are you doing? Let's fucking go. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Like the trailer? Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and... Sorry, his ship, not boat. But jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. I mean, if she's down, I'm down. Like, if she's down, I'm down. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't like these parts, man. <laughs> I really don't. Bonjour, ça va? I don't look forward late. to these. No, you can go right. Hi, Melanie. I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone, and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. So I was just supposed to just, you know. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. What the hell is this guy's name again? John? The IT guy? Fucking sus ass, sketchy ass guy. He's gonna give me security of the clearance level two. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for you. And then I immediately see a level Find three the control station first. <laughs> clearance thingy. Why don't we just take this QR code now? Let's just grab it now. Uh yeah. We're just gonna we'll, we'll get to all that stuff, I swear we will. Um oh we're supposed to go in here, aren't we? I'll update your communicator. Oh wow. There's Desmond Miles. What are, oh, hold on, one second, one second. Let me... Okay, nope, there's not shit. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. I don't know how this one works. Okay, so they each get multiplied by each other. So... How about... Three times five... Times... Uh, there you go. Two times five, ten times seventy. Dude, mental math. Or I mean, these are puzzles for a reason. They're challenges. <laughs> I just wanted to show that off. It worked. And we want information on assassins or templars or the observatory or whatever the fuck else interests us, Olivier. You will deliver it. Full stop. Uh huh. I understand that, Leticia. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. I thought that was Melanie. I was like. Damn. Here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. She said fuck, so I mean, that's gotta be like important. This is Ubisoft's our best employee working on this, message about business. Time. Come on. So, 
What's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. That's how you know. Dude, I can't wait for Rogue, actually, because that's going to be like... Completing that story, that's going to be really cool. I'm curious about the shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. This window right here? Damn, I, I kind of just went over here. Just I wanted to explore a little bit. Oh my god, dude! You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So anything's possible. Nothing is true. You feel me, dog? Luckily, Either they're doing construction on it. Or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Okay. I don't understand why we're doing this. This is sus, bro. Okay, so Frogger with... A little bit of a, a little bit of a twist now. <laughs> Why do I look just so like concerned? I am. I'm interested in what's happening now. I'm kind of interested. Dude, I'm reading this stuff, and this is like. Oh my god. They're talking about Desmond Miles and all the games that we played. There's Ezio. His dad's line is Ezio and Connor and Hatham and Edward and all that stuff. And then his mom was Altair and then a bunch of stuff that I haven't even heard of. But they... No, dude. Because they were making... Dude, look at the 18th century. The French Revolution. They're talking about Arno from Unity. Oh my god. That's crazy. They got Japan. Feudal Japan in there. All this stuff. The very first one says he'll be attending the Chicago shareholders thing, and just the Chicago alone. I I have to play Watch Dogs on this channel. I have to. Pirates through and through, ain't you? Now get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now wait. The receptionist. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> that's why I went over there. What a sneak. As gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Sounds like some suicide Don't squad even think stuff. Don't ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. This guy's like blackmailing us and shit. It's making me uncomfortable and. I'm not gonna lie, it's got me a little intrigued. I don't remember exactly what happens. And I kinda wanna get into the lore about all this stuff because if I'm gonna be playing Rogue and Unity, I kinda wanna know what's going on. And Syndicate, too. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there, I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Or not. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. We really should look into that security company. When I when I get to Watch Dogs, dude, well done, I'm gonna. Uh... Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys. I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. I'll have to um, go 
<laughs> into Watch Dogs, man. It's such a good game. I love it. And it ties into kind of what we're doing right now. And yeah. 315. Oh my goodness. You know what? I think I'm just going to try something goofy. Nope. There you go. 3357. Yeah. All you got to do is remember that. Um... to see right now oh uh, just the lobby oh it's so cool nothing else though oh here you go QR code another one another one Morty <laughs> hey you're a dick <clears throat> okay we're in we're on the second floor Let's go explore. <laughs> you like that? I liked it. Because now we have clearance level two. Get all the QR codes that we can get. Get all the computers we can hack. All that stuff. Um, here's one. Let's hack this fucking computer. It's one of these guys? Alright. Bet, dude. There you go. Literally, I, that's, I just go up or down and then left or right, and then up or down and then left or right. It's it's really that easy. Or at least it can be. Okay, yeah. All that stuff is super interesting, but we're not going to look at it. Not yet. One day I will, one of these days I will make uh my video about just I'm gonna go through and read all this stuff and like paraphrase it or something I don't know but I'm interested in it ooh this one has like angles and shit I don't remember that there you go get to that one right there That one's a goofy one. That one was an interesting one right there. Okay, so those two are next to each other. So there's this one. So these two, yeah, these two that are next to each other. <sighs> Fun stuff. Whoa, what are these? What are those little Sonic thingies now? I kind of want to find out. Are they like portals? If, do I have to restart? Oh, <laughs> what the hell, man. <laughs> that awkward trying to just breathe cough. <laughs> really, you're just gonna fuck with me like that? Oh my god, dude. That's brutal. They're just gonna make me keep going like that. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> Fucking sinuses. This one's actually remotely interesting. She looks kind of like Haytham a little bit. Or she's dressed like Haytham a little bit anyway. Brutally cut down by the pe- Oh, interesting. It must be the chick from, uh... Not Revelations. What the hell am I thinking of? Liberation. There you go. Served as Master Templar from the Southern Colonies. Alright, well here's Aveline herself. Uh, with a sick little QR code. Um, alright. Let's get this last, this other computer in this room. And then I think we'll be done with this room, honestly. Fucking challenge guy. Our researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. 
Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. I'll tell you, no, this is Dude. Way. I mean, yeah, man. He was a badass. Many That's of our researchers framework. felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. Cool. That's, oh man, I got really interesting. It's so meta, like it's just so, they're talking about it like, <laughs> like, he, like we, it's not a real person. Like we didn't play that game, you know. Okay, I think we're done with this room. Now we're gonna go into this room. This, oh, another security room. Security room inside the the lobby. Yeah, one twenty six. Oh God. There you go. Three three seven two. <laughs> Three, three, seven, two. You just gotta pay attention to the number that, you know, the number from beforehand so that you know what, you know, if, if multiplying that works. I don't know, it makes sense to me. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, now we get to spy on people for real. This is my kind of type of fetish right here. Melanie, what's up? Bro, she's got a QR code in her office. Uh, uh, I, I need that, I need that really badly. I want to be able to go in here at some point, right? Like, because I need that QR code in there. My God. <sighs> Ooh, let me let me let me show you where I'm at. Right here. Oh, there's the elevator. Straight to your right, if you're coming off the elevator. This room. QR code right there. I'm gonna get it, and then you, the next time we pop out, we're getting level three. No challenge, dude. There you go. I need Sticky Note 1. I bet you Sticky Note 1 is Melanie's office. I'd be willing to bet a small amount of money on that. Let's hack this computer now. Frogger? I can do Frogger. I find it much easier to use the D-pad right away. Just like, it's just instant. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna chase it. <laughs> It'd be stupid if I try to chase that thing. Damn, bro. A little challenge there. I wasn't ready for that little challenge. That was a little bit. That was actually like moderately challenging. Stop. Stop. I don't want to cry right now. <laughs> Like, because I, I think Nolan North is dead. Or, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's a tense frogger right there. Subject 17 recovered media and they're all like different pictures. <laughs> I like this one though. This is a dope selfie. I would have taken that selfie, man. If I looked at photogenic. I think that's it. Well, there might be this computer over here. Do you best believe? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get crack a hack and let's get this one done. More Frogger, huh? Damn, these Frogger ones are a little 
A little tough, the little sons of bitches. This one not so bad. This one not so bad. That one was like not really a challenge at all. It's those ones with the those bam those lines, you know what I'm talking about? The the white lines and all that stuff. Okay. Hacking computers is what I wanted to do um, in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't want to actually do anything about Assassins or uh, Black Flag. So I won't go back to the Animus now. And I won't see you in the next video. Thanks.